This is One on One. It was my pleasure to introduce you to John Rapinos, who is the dean of the Larry L. Lewing School of Business at Berkeley College. Good to see you, John. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Let's talk about the uh, program, the School of Business. What uh, majors are we talking about there? Uh, we have uh, a number of majors. Um, we have management majors, fashion marketing and management, accounting and finance. Uh, so we have a, a, a wide variety of degree programs. There's about 29 degree programs. One of the big areas I want to talk about is information technology management. What are we talking about? And this is a hot area, right? It is. It is. What are we talking about? Uh, Steve, you know, um, it's estimated we're going to spend $3.6 trillion on information technology in 2012. It's a lot of money. Uh, the question is, what are you going to get for that money? Mm. And so our program is really designed not to build technical people, real technical, but to understand technology and also um, management principles. Because really, you want to get the most out of this money. Give us an example of this. Because uh, sure. people here information technology management, they, they understand the jargon, they hear it, but they may not, may not know what it means. Give us a specific career that we're talking about. Sure. For example, you might have a, a web uh, designer and developer, a web manager, a content manager. These websites that you see, they don't just happen by themselves. People have to manage them. The question is, what should they look like? Who are your target audiences? How should you design these? These are the kinds of things we're teaching our students. So it's so funny. People think, it's, oh, that's a technical thing. That requires some incredible critical thinking skills. It, it does. It does. And it all goes back to who are you, who's your audience. Uh, the te technical skills are one thing. You know, once you know what you want to design, who you're designing it for, then you develop the technical skills. But up front is, what do you want to do with this? That's yep. really important. Another related to area, network security. That's also an area what does that mean? we're teaching our students as well. Uh, I mean, it's in the news all the time about hacking. Sure. Yep. Uh, you know, people getting into our government databases, people stealing your social security numbers. People uh, in the media hacking into Exactly. You know, a lot of scandals there. What, what, where is the career there? Um, well, you have folks who actually un understand how to protect your computer and your data files. Okay? Well, that's critical in this day and age. I mean, the Internet now has opened up access to computers all over the world. Um, I mean, you see it in the news all the time. Uh, and, and that's what we uh, provide our students, uh, the technical knowledge of how to protect your computer and your data as well. Another interesting part of this, uh, the marketing piece of things, marketing communications. Social media, how has social media changed the way you teach the field of marketing slash communications? It's changed dramatically. I mean, you know, 40 years ago, we used to what, put a, maybe an ad in a, in a newspaper. Okay, but these younger people now are a little bit more savvy than that. They're online right. all the time. They're on your Facebooks. You're on. They're they're all over this place. The question is, how do you use this vehicle? Because it mm. is a vehicle, to both attract new customers and to retain your current customers. And companies, a lot of companies are fearful of this. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the people who understand this kind of uh, technology. And so what's happening is we've developed a marketing communications uh, program that not only focuses on the delivery how to use these social media sites, but also on the communications message. Yeah. I mean, I know that's your field, and the question becomes, who is your target audience? What message are you trying to get across? Do they understand what you're trying to tell them? You know? So social media is now here and now. The other area that I know is a big one for you, which is very important to our audience here as well, never goes out of style. Let's talk about the financial planning piece of this. What is the curriculum that we're talking about? Right. And why is it more pressing now, John, than ever before to teach it? That's an excellent question. This is a, a field that I'm very uh, passionate about. Uh, we have 76 million baby boomers in the United States. The leading edge have turned 66 this year. Right. Uh, the trailing edge is in their 40s. Okay? I am concerned about the 66-year-olds. Right. We have not done a good job saving for retirement. They haven't, they haven't done this. Uh, you know, in the past, we used to uh, count on three things to help us retire. Personal savings. Uh, the personal savings rate in the United States is pitiful. Uh, pension plans. 
uh, companies have gone away from what are called defined benefit plans, meaning you know what you're going to get at the as end. As opposed to? Defined contribution plans like a 401k. Manage it yourself. Manage it yourself. Now, do people know how to manage it themselves? Exactly. They don't know what they're going to have at the end. depends on how, you know. How and a professional in the field can really make a difference. That's here. correct. That's correct. And the other, the other piece is what? Social Security? The other piece is Social Security. And that's in the media. We know all about that. It's a <laughs> Huge question it's a mark. It's political hotbed. <laughs> right. uh, I wish our politicians, no matter what side of the aisle they're on, get to it and figure this that's out. That's a different, that's well, a it's whole a different, different subject, issue. but related. But the field of financial planning, you're Correct. saying hot. Hot, hot, hot. And what we've done at Berkeley College is we've created a uh, financial services degree program. A financial services degree program. Right. And basically, it focuses personal financial planning. So we are teaching students about wealth building, retirement planning, uh, estate planning, taxation, which really for everybody, everybody, they should know how Can to Can you go this. online, part-time, full-time, what? What are we talking about? The answer is yes. You can go on-site or online. You can do it part-time. You can do it full-time as well. You're finding students looking for lots of different ways to get a college education Di more different, excuse oh, me, different in absolutely. ways than you've never seen before. Because more and more people right. are saying, I'm online, never did it before, never thought I could have that experience. Right. In our school, we have a lot of uh, single parent households. Right. Uh, they can't come to a campus at a certain time on a certain day. So the online environment works for them. I mean, all you got to do is look at the growth of online education. Right. It's, it's, it's booming. It is. And the other final piece I want to ask you about is there's a history of internships and the importance of internships. Give you 30 seconds, go. Internships are critical. One in every, th one in three students today have an internship. It benefits the student, it benefits the employer. From the student's perspective, they get experience. They get to see the real world, not just what's in a book, but on the job. Uh, they, the employer's point of view, this builds a pool of employees for them. Yep. If a student is, is really good, they can hire that student. Uh, it gives them a chance to see how that student operates in a real world environment. You have to come to work every day, you have to come on time. You have to be productive. And that internship provides that employee an opportunity to see you know, how that student performs. John Rapinos, who is the dean of the Larry L. Lewing School of Business at Berkeley College. Important subjects, particularly in these very challenging economic times. Uh, dean, thank you very much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Good stuff. One-on-one -on -one will continue right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, working for great public schools for every child, and by Wells Fargo. Promotional support provided by NJ Biz, All Business, All New Jersey, and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association and its monthly magazine, New Jersey Business. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.